but different criticisms of rbc models now one of the uh, main criticism of rbc model is that there is a very weak evidence for technology shocks the entire rbc model is dependent upon the fact that they assume that Uh, recessions are caused by technology shocks but wh where is the evidence right so the first one is weak evidence of technology shocks right weak evidence for technology shocks uh, um in reality we barely see major technology setbacks in real life we rarely see major technology setbacks it should be written together in real life uh, so and the model is using solo residual as the technology shock but the problem with that is that is just a residual there is a leftover part of gdp you can't assume it is technology right uh, it uses solo residual as a proxy in reality um it is just the leftover part of gdp which cannot be explained by labor and capital which can't be explained by labor and capital so even solo said it must be ignorance but it is not real technological change right so the very basis on which rbc model is based upon that is it is that recessions are caused by technology shocks you do not have evidence for that uh, so that is the first criticism the other one is that they can be measurement error right measurement errors so during recession firms often keep workers even if they don't need them temporarily so maybe in recessions you know that demand is going to fall firms may not want all employees but they are not going to fire everyone right they will still keep employees with them right or maybe they are less productive during that time they are working less but technology has not changed in recessions right so i mean model has very quickly assumed this that okay they are producing less they are producing less because demand is less they are producing less because they are working less not because technology has declined you have assumed that that is the problem right so
the model falsely interprets lower output is technology decline. While in reality, output is output is lowered because all workers are not fully utilized. It is not because of technology decline. When in reality, It's actually excess workers not fully used. Maybe solo residual can, can measure labor utilization changes. But it cannot measure, measure technology change. So, the solo residual Me detect labor utilization changes not the productivity shocks. Right. Then you know what? Model has assumed this that if there is a recession, technology is going to go backwards. Have you ever heard anything like this? After World War II, whenever recession has happened, have you ever seen or experienced this that, that technology has declined? Uh -huh. So even if recession is going on, do you think we are going back to our normal telephone lines of, of late 1990s? No, right? Uh -huh. So... Technology regress is unrealistic. So R RBC sometimes imply that uh, technology goes backward during recession. That is that is not. It's not a very plausible uh, explanation. Who's backward during the session? Hmm. But since World War II,
you don't see actual technological decline and rbc uh, later on they tried to say this that uh, that uh, negative technology shock in case if uh, that negative technology shock is going to be there this is uh, going to create a recession uh, that is going to create a recession and that is that is due to the bad regulation or legal changes so regulations increased uh, just after world war 2 but business cycles got smaller not bigger regulations badi hi hai kam nahi hui hai uske bavjood bhi jo business cycles hai wo aur zyada badi aur zyada thodi choti hui hai badi nahi hui so rbcs later try to say negative technology is equivalent to bad regulations or legal changes hmm. but this point was also criticized uh, so they say this that uh, regulations increase most after world war 2 right so it means that those regulations should have created negative technology negative technology or technological regress should have created more uh, recessions but business cycles got smaller not bigger even if business cycles came they were not for a very large period of time so but critics critics argued that regulations increased most after world war 2 got smaller not bigger hmm. Hmm. so uh, and then they also said one thing there was an persistence persistence assumption right uh, so they said this that when business cycles used to come they they remain for a certain period of time right they fade very slowly so but rbc doesn't give any economic reason why why they should be persistent enough why that should be persistent enough so persistent assumptions assumption
lacks explanation. So they said this that when business cycle is going to come, it will persist for a certain time. So the technology shock should also fade very slowly. Must fade very slowly. But RBC in their model, they do not give any reason, any economic reason why productivity should remain high or low for or for that long, right? Because in case of the product is going to be high or low, then only business cycle could remain for that long, right? But RBC. Gives no economic reason. Why productivity should remain. Are your load that long? Are your load that long? Right? So we'll do the remaining criticisms in the next class. Thank you, Vita.